Hello everyone, welcome to a very crisp morning here in France. Today is the second bit or the next bit of the vlog I did yesterday about going down and getting that really big oak tree out of the corner of the field for a bit of uh, fuel for the family to keep us warm in the winter. So we're going to head down there. We've got to gather a few bits up, um, check we've got all the stuff we need, and then we're going to go down and hopefully we're going to get a nice bit of firewood for the family. So join us on our journey. I've got a couple of little helpers with me, which you'll see. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be an enjoyable one. It's definitely going to be a beautiful day here. It's night, as you can see behind me, it's uh, blue skies. So it's going to warm up. At the moment, there's there's ice on the cars. So um, hopefully in the next uh, hour or so, it'll warm up. But yeah, join us on our adventure. See you soon. Hi, we're back and we're going to go down at the field, just down there, up there, and after we're going to get some wood and get the fire going. Good morning everybody, um, long time no see, I've been hiding and just getting fat and more and more uncomfortable. Um, I'm under the doctor, under the hospital, um, obviously normal things going on at this stage of pregnancy. Um, they're going to bring him hopefully a little bit early so we should have maximum three to four weeks to go um so we'll see be just my luck though he'll stop growing now and he'll decide to stay stay at this size and i have to go for, for another week after that but yeah so hopefully he'll um he'll be he'll be on his way pretty pretty soon and um yeah we can we can crack on with family life with new little baby oscar who we're all so excited to meet um this morning as you've seen daddy moon's outside he's got the tractors going um ready to go down and start cutting some wood ready for winter Rupert's little tractor's going, Rue's all ready to rock, he's down there waiting to go. Um, I'm going to take some bacon down, we're going to have bacon sandwiches down at the, down. we normally would do this down at the woods, at the, um, in the, by the river, we've actually got, a, we, we built like a little, a little cooking area down there, um, but because of where the trees fall and we're not close to that, so today we're just going to take, we've got a little cauldron, so we're going to take the cauldron down, do some bacon sandwiches, you know, it's a fun Sunday thing to do as a family. Um, Daddy's going to take me down on the tractor, so I haven't got to walk. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he'll be, yeah, be nice. So we're going to go down there, um, have some bacon sandwiches. We've got a busy day actually. And then I need to come back up and take Toby to a birthday party and leave, leave daddy down there doing what he's doing, um, with the, with the tree. So, and then a nice Sunday roast for dinner this evening. So yeah, it's a busy day. Um, and, uh, yeah, just keep trogging on and we'll get there. Um, yeah, so we will, I will see, I'm going to go to the kitchen now and grab all the bits for the, for the, for the little bacon sandwiches. And then we will be on our way down to the field. And whilst we're down there, we can take the Legends rugs off. They're staying out at night at the moment because the grass is so lush and lovely and it's really, really cool. So they're, they're absolutely loving it. They don't want to come in, but of course it puts a bit of pressure on us, or say me, the kids and daddy really at the moment. Um, because at night the temperature drops. I mean, it was frozen this morning. So the horses, because they're so old, they can't, they wouldn't, they would perish if they were out in, in the weather like that. So we're having to put night rugs on them at night. So at night time, the boys are all going down there and putting rugs on them. And then in the morning we're having to take them off because it gets so hot in the day that they they're obviously too hot never ends here so yeah so anyway so i'll go get the stuff and then we will meet you outside and um rupert's very eager to show you him driving his little tractor he has a tractor that he drives about all the time um so he's going to take the trailer and take the food down in that and uh that's it so we'll see you soon
No, no. No, really, that's not a hub. I'll be quite a bit walking. Yeah, I'll go and do them now. Okay, so they're all making their way down on the trailers, as you've seen. My moon opted for walking because I decided that actually maybe getting in a tractor or a trailer wasn't the best option because I think we'd rattle dear old Oscar out. So I've decided to take a nice slow walk and as you can see I'm in my woolly jumper and my pyjamas, my Christmas pyjamas because nothing else fits me. Um, so I'm just making my way over to the legends now as you just saw they've got their rugs on so I think they're a bit warm because the sun's out so I'm just going to take their rugs off and Charlie's going to meet me over there. Um, everyone's very excited all in the trailer and having bacon sandwiches and stuff so yeah it's the norm here but it never gets boring so anyway I'm gonna make my way over we're going to see Cinderella we've got Staz here I'll turn the camera around and you can see him Staz didn't want his rug on last night he decided he'd rather get cold Staz there's the boys on the tractor in the background did you get a bit chilly you monkey you could have had your rug on couldn't you hey you silly old boy yeah and then we got here, little tiny Kimmy. Hmm, little porky thing, aren't you? What are you doing? We've seen your mummy, she couldn't be bothered to come all the way down. She's halfway up the field. The smallest and fattest horse in the world ever. Yes, on spring you have to come off the grass, naughty girl. Yes, you do. All right, who have we got here? We got little Liv, who's looking absolutely incredible after her little little bout of sickness aren't you 32 years old look at you you little porky thing oh up there i don't know if you can see it we've got a lovely moon looking down on us there the camera there it is look at that isn't that beautiful always watching this moon family here we have our oh, beautiful cinderella hello darling are you a bit warm yeah, i bet you are and we've got max who's decided to roll in like he looks more like a Malteser than a horse. And dear old Epilan, who's definitely going to be hot because he's got one of the new rugs on and it's got a double lining and a hood. Hey, Cinders. What are you doing? Hello, lovely girl. So I'm going to turn the camera off and me and Charlie are just going to whip these rugs off so they can cool down a bit. So here he is, the mighty Epilan de Fouquet. Bless him. 30 years old. The reason we started Legacy of Legends. Oh, you look tired, old boy. Let me get your rugs off. You're a bit warm. You be warm, gorgeous. Oh, I'll take it off now. Hold on. Little leaf. Hello. What are you doing? You see the trailer? What are they doing in your field? Oh, good girl. There he is. Cooled down. Beautiful boy. So, taking the rugs off, actually they weren't that hot, they were quite nice, so it's all good. Randomly found a butter knife in the middle of the field. Don't ask, I have no idea why that's here, but we have it now, so we won't be finding that in the hay. Um, yeah, so all the, all the legends are, oh, how do I do it? Oh, there you go. All rugs off and happy, and that's a pile of rugs laying in the middle of the field, which we'll pop on again this evening. And now it's time to go and start cooking on the cauldron for the bacon sandwiches. Okay, so we've all made it down. Uh, all the little helpers and Mummy Moon, we're down here now. Uh, the first job is I've got the strimmer set up and I'm going to whack all this bracken here so we've got a nice clean working area. Like I said, uh, up the top, one of the most important things when you start cutting stuff or you're doing any sort of tree work is stuff underfoot. So what you don't want to do is have anything that you could potentially trip on or fall over or when you're walking backwards with a saw. So nice, clean, safe working area. Uh, but to just get to the tree, we've got all this old bracken. So make a nice path. While I'm doing that, Mummy Moon's going to get a little fire going and we're going to do some bacon sandwiches. So see you soon.
So I'm just making my way round here. As you can hear, Nick's strimming away down there and Toby's getting the fire going very kindly for me. And he's gonna do a little vlog himself later just of getting the fire going. I'm not even gonna to attempt to get down there. I'm gonna stand here and I'm going to call Rupert and Charlie who can come running back up the hill because that is not a good place for me and try to get down at all. So we're down at the field. Toby's making the fire, as you can see behind me. Nick's down the bottom here doing the um, strimming. And not like, I don't think you'll be able to see it. I'm going to turn the camera around. I can hear this little bit of barking and hearing across the field is Larry the Chihuahua. Hold on. Larry, what are you doing? <laughs> you can see his hood. He's got, he's got his jacket on. And all I can see is his little hood banging about. Hold on. We're here! Come on! Oh, that was a long walk for a chihuahua! <laughs> what are you doing, you crazy boy? Oh, hello! You come to a bacon sandwich? What are you doing? You love me, I love you too! Oh, Laz! Hello! Oh, I'm sorry, did we forget you? Oh, it's okay now. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> what have you found, bro? What is it? It's a tool thing. Oh, it's your tools. Oh. oh. You doing crazy? Oh dear. Good, eh? Here comes Daddy Moon. Always got a flask and a cup of tea. He's never seen without a flask and a cup of tea. And Toby's done an excellent job of the fire here.
Ray. Ray. How is your your bacon bap? Good. Good was it? Yep. I'm very filled up. Oh, perfect. We're gonna go and I'm get ours now. I'm gonna go and roll down the hill. Oh, okay. I'll see you in a minute. Look at me. Okay. Okay. Let me just be for a minute. Lay down. Of course, you need to lay down. Yeah. Stop on the ball. Right. Oh. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Smells good, Tibes. Oh, do you want one, Mum? Sorry, yes, you do want one, but do you want ketchup in it? A little bit, yes, please. Okay, so we're down now. We've got a few little trees that we're going to pull out just so we can, in inverted commas, see the wood for the trees. So we need to... There's some little tiny ones uh, on this bank. Uh, Toby's in the tractor. He's going to be my tractor assistant, so I'm going to be on the chains, and we're just going to pull the the little um, the oak that I said to you about. There's one uh, that's just beside it um, over there, um, and it goes up, and it's it's the one that it's sort of wedged on. So we're going to get rid of those, and then as soon as we got rid of those, we'll be able to show you uh, what's what and what's what we're going to try and do with getting Big Bertha to come down. So uh, watch this space. Okay, so as you can see by the little time lapse we did, and um, you can really see Big Bertha now. She's just uh, hovering above us over there. So we took out the that those couple of little scraggy bits, and then there was the the little oak tree or the two little trees that were holding it up. Um, so we've now pulled that out, and that is here. It's only a short tree, so we'll we'll log that up. Um, and then we've got all the the other stuff that's now in the way. So the remainders of those two little trees, which we need to clear up. And then we'll, yeah, we'll make a plan then of how we're going to, the best approach, um, I say, Big Bertha. So, um, but like I said before, just cautiously taking your time, uh, making the right decisions, uh, seeing what's happening. You know, when when you're cutting the wood, um, you're never really sure, um, unless you can, unless it's very apparent, I say really sure, uh, what way it's going to go or what's going to happen, but the wood will move slightly. It's just a case of not going, you know, hell for leather and cutting straight through it, just seeing what happens. So on that little tree we just did, um, even when Toby had pulled it, um, some of the way, um, it just started to crack when I cut one of the branches which was under load so I just went through a tiny bit more and the same on the other branch and then as he pulled it they just snapped away so there was no need for me to take the the weight off it um you know and be a hero let the tractor do the work pulling it through and uh it's a safe uh sort of dismount if you like from where it was so yeah plenty of work ahead of us as you can see um I'm just going to take uh Toby now he's going to a birthday party it's a lovely Sunday afternoon here uh the sun's shining again and um it's yeah it's beautiful we couldn't ask for more so very very lucky little there's a little robin that's just come to join us which I'll see if I can catch him later for you but yeah surrounded by wildlife surrounded by beautiful weather so yeah really really lucky thank you all for watching and uh and thank you again to the people that have subscribed because without you um yeah it uh, obviously it wouldn't be as enjoyable it's lovely to share it it's a great log for our family and and for the kids growing up they can always look back on it um but yeah thank you again and um see you next time mm -hmm.